Special effects is an art form. It's where art meets science. I'm dealing with, you know, physics and atmospherics. I'm dealing with rain and fogs and snow and water, heat and color. I couldn't draw a stick figure, but visually in my brain it comes out with effects. To me, I'm beginning a drawing or a painting. My name's Andre Ellingson. I'm the special effects supervisor on Criminal Minds. I've had a unique journey on my way here. I did go to uh, film school and started as a PA, you know, like I think everybody does when they first start. And then I got into construction and set building. And I worked my way up from a carpenter to an effects coordinator in a couple of years. The special effects door opened for me and I, and I grabbed the opportunity and uh, haven't looked back since. Generally when people think of effects, they're thinking of car wrecks, explosions, uh, things that we, that we do and we enjoy doing. But uh, there's so many other things. People going through windows on a second story window. Well, obviously that's not plate glass. That's, it's breakaway glass that we've measured in orders weeks before, and we've built the frames out of balsa wood. Um, any, anything that involves an actor or a stunt in, in proximity even, especially in connection with an effect, it goes through a lot of planning so that nobody gets hurt and so that it works and that everything just goes right. Generally, I'll get the script about eight days in advance. I'll read it, I'll break it down, I'll pull out the effects, I'll pull out the rain, I'll pull out the car explosion, I'll pull out you know, the, the smoky, eerie graveyard, and I'll make a list of my effects, and I'll put a budget to it. I'll hire anywhere from you know, two to 20 or 30 guys, depending on what the gag is. Um, and then the next script comes, and then, you know, and then it's just television, it's, I'm always shooting one, prepping one and wrapping one. So I'm dealing with three scripts at a time all season long. So today we're prepping this helicopter for uh, a drop. We have, we have a scene where a helicopter gets blown out of the sky and then uh, we'll, we'll do the, the, uh, the after effect where it drops out of the sky and hits the ground. So we're prepping some of it today for the actual drop. We're, we're laying the floor so that it's safe to walk in and then we're going to put a fireproof cloth down, which is called panther felt. And we're going to line the whole inside of the helicopter with a black fireproof cloth. And what that does, it's going to absorb the fuel that we apply to the helicopter, uh, kind of like a big wick, OK? So when ready to go, we'll fuel the helicopter up with a combination of white gas and lamp oil and rubber cement. And then the crane operator will take it up as high as we need to go, maybe 20, 30 feet. And then I'll have some uh, what's called flash packs, which are very hot, bright uh, pyrotechnic device. So this helicopter will be completely engulfed as though it's just exploded in midair. And then we will do a cable release on a crane. And that crane will drop the helicopter to the ground. It'll still be totally engulfed. And uh, then our main actors will come in and, the, and they're gonna film this whole scene around the real helicopter on fire with our hero actors. You know, it's, it's got to go right. If, if something malfunctioned, it would just be, it'd be horrible. You know, they, if we can't fix it or make it right or do it, you know, if the helicopter got crushed and it didn't work properly, uh, you know, they'd have to rewrite the scene. Um, you know, those things we don't allow to happen in my crew. You know, if you need another light, you can add another light. You know, if you need another table, you can bring another table, but you can't just recreate another helicopter crash. It, it has to be, you know, you got to know what you're doing when you go in on it. The relief is extreme when something, when you plan so hard and spend so much money, and the expectations of the producers and the network and your crew and, you know, and everybody. Uh, failure's not an option.